Love, obsession, extortion and murder, the dramatic downfall of TikTok influencer who became a serial killer. This article uses TikTok influencer very, very loosely because my God, what the hell do we class as a TikTok influencer? But if you've not seen this information, it's quite staggering. This woman and her mother basically got a few hundred, I think 150k just under on TikTok. Now, the problem with TikTok is I hate the app. I don't have it. But I understand this quick form media. It's very addictive. I, I got addicted. That's why I deleted it because you just waste time and time again just looking at it. The problem is these days though TikTok can get you so famous because all it takes is so a few videos to go viral then you've got a few videos out there people comment follow whatever like spread and you become a bit of a meme a bit of a laughing stock now it's very easy to get popular on it's not easy to get popular but once you have that it's like a very quick snowball effect isn't it once it starts if you do it right and you're not a donkey you can actually push that shit down the hill and get it growing. This woman posted TikToks with her mum saying aren't you grateful but here look nearly 130k followers TikTok top 45 on Instagram, three, nearly 4k on YouTube, so she beats me by quite a fucking margin, but Not for long. at the end of the day, I didn't kill someone, so who's the real winner here? So basically, this is her in court. The 46-year-old mother was having an affair with her husband, you see. And uh, basically, she tried cutting it off. The guy said, no, 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 no. He then threatened to take her nudes to her husband and her son. She described it as a bit of fun, blah, 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 blah. But she obviously, uh, you know, things got quite uh, heated. He fell in love with the older woman. He was obviously into his MILFs. MILF. Which is, you know, every, you can't blame the guy. Absolutely not. So he basically threatened to send them to the husband and son. This then got out of hand. Then uh, Mahek said, I'll soon get him jumped by guys and he won't know what day it is. So a threat that obviously was online and the police have got hold of. So, but basically this guy spent loads of money her, on her as well. Apparently like thousands and thousands on buying her nice things, which is, you know, interesting to say the least. And then this woman was clearly just in it for the presents, for the cash. She cheated on her husband, cheated on her family. The daughter to knew which was horrible if i found out my dad or mum was cheating on the other i can tell you for certain you would get either a punch or a slap depending on your gender and then i'm snitching on your ass straight away that's disgusting fuck you if that happens you wouldn't hear from me again so she knew and she basically got in a car he got followed by two vehicles and they're trying to block him in they're trying to run me off the road they're trying to kill me i'm going to die so hussein and uh and his friend i i'm look i'm not going to attempt to say that name is jadu is jazudin apology look I, I can't even speak english so you know, uh, non-English names are fucking much more difficult for me. So they engulfed in fire and died, basically, on the carriageway. Horrible stuff. The Skoda was in flames next to a tree, and they were both dead because, and they were identified through dental records, so teeth, because their bodies were that burnt and decimated, which is horrible way to die. Shoot me in the head, but do not burn me alive. So this has obviously gone on and on. This TikTok influencer, inverted commas, basically, and her mother have gone to jail, or are in court, I have not gone to jail, for the murder of these two people. But they face a minimum of 26 years and 10 months rightly so and i think they should probably just be shot <laughs> joking <laughs> kind of where was that so we, so we first we stayed here and then we went straight to uh, right okay so the audi. Yes, audi, yes. Right. there's a car that's coming on the right hand side um a leon seattle leon don't know the model or anything but it was blue come straight down no speed nothing normal on the right hand side we were always on the left hand side and we just appreciate this woman's gray tracksuit is truly matching it is you know to say she's gone in there and her nails and she looks like been through a tumble dryer she's done very well with her clothing choice this right hand side car's come now the, the leon the, the blue one has come straight next to me and come right in front of me not very close i've always said to myself i'm a very good driver when it comes to this i've been driving for five years four to five years and i've said to myself always keep a second to three second Gap always already look i've seen enough murder documentaries that when they start waffling and talking nonsense and saying stuff that is nothing to do with it trying to make themselves seem more human and less like a psychopath it's usually bullshit it's like me saying oh yes well you know i did know my neighbor they were really nice though they used to cut me food they cut my grass i really like their cats their cats was daisy you'd be like this is not information that is valid to the point can you just tell me did you kill them or not so, always done that I've kept cars come and cut into the middle, so we're basically all three cars very close. I braked, and I said to my mum, what is this car trying to do? And my mum said, you may just keep your distance, everything's going to be okay, it's okay. Just a reckless few people just reckless because they know it's 
all the way down if there's any cameras going there's going to be cameras. They, know, they must know there's no cameras i'm not going to play this all but she's just absolutely waffling spewing out absolute crud you know what i mean and crud means crap absolute poo poo is falling out of her mouth right now she doesn't know what she's on about you know if you've done something wrong get a lawyer as well don't just start talking they might not have any evidence right now and you're giving them enough but then the blue car went on to the left and the silver car kept doing the left and it was just harassing like the car the blue car was trying to like trying to let you go like go 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 you can go now because i'm letting you go but this silver car was not letting the blue car go so i looked at my mom and i goes mom what is going on this blue car has gone straight now and this silver car has gone behind and as soon as we're gonna i said mom as soon as we see a slip road we're gonna go we're gonna go to a slip road we've gone forward and the silver car's hit the back of the blue car the blue car see it like leon's gone completely gone as soon as i've turned around the silver car's gone how peculiar the silver car went as soon as she turned around firstly who turns around when driving especially after when she bangs on about being a good driver probably not a uh, clever thing to do especially when there's a high speed pursuit happening in front of you it, it, it's kind of confusing if there's shit going in front a silver and a blue sea out or whatever it was uh you know having a bit of a road rage playing mario kart together i tell you now i my eyes are not looking at what the fuck's going on in my rear view mirror i am eyeballs on and make sure these cunts c-u-n-t's are not crashing into me all I've seen is they've hit, and all I see is right, like a, a, a swerved, the silver car swerved to not my side, to the other side. Silver car, and now she knows where the silver car went. But this, you know, if you saw the blue car crash, you'd get out, would you not? I, I would. I'm not Batman, I'm not Superman, I'm not some hero who's going to be able to, you know, carry them out to safety. But if someone crashes dangerously because someone's knocked into their car, I'm going to at least give it a go and tr make sure they're okay. Sure, you know, I'm, I'm, am I stupid for thinking that? Yeah. Of the dual carriageway where the, the metal bits are, basically. And I didn't see the car after that. I didn't hear a bang. I didn't hear apparently there was mentioned there was a tree i didn't see no tree i didn't see anything i've gone straight on i looked at my mom and i said mom what i was just in shock not very clever you have to admit because to say all this when you know the person in the car both through family uh you know through your mother what have you and then to say you had no idea what was going on and that you weren't part of this and that this crash happened mysteriously and it just so happened that the person in the car was having an affair with your mum is absolutely ludicrous and the, that's why you got caught you're talking too much but let's know she seems remarkably calm and not nervous agitated in any way shape or form which is kind of a shock to me if i was getting questioned by the police over murder you know killing someone I would be slightly nervous. My even if I'd done nothing wrong, you can bet your bottom dollar I'd be feeling a bit like holy fuck. Make sure you don't fucking do anything. But yeah, these two women right here. This woman had an affair and cheated and tried getting him killed. This woman on the left helped covered it up. These two people deserve prison and arguably something a lot worse in my opinion. Joking. Uh, you know, to call them TikTok influencers is, is a shame to people who actually are TikTok influencers. Um, May ex ex boyfriend said she would take her mum to shisha lounges. Wow, I can understand why you wanted this guy. And clubs, and they would get promoted for paid for clubs. How they were literally coming 24 7 going everywhere together. She was trying to act like her daughter. It was really unusual. So this woman got a bit of enjoyment in her later life of a bit of aim, a bit of thought. You know, I mean, that TikTok influencer life. This is the problem with TikTok. It goes to your head, it turns kids into criminals, and it turns criminals into into absolute psychopaths it's unacceptable that this has happened to these poor poor people don't get me wrong cheating's bad and you know there's an argument for that but you don't deserve this no way jose not like this these two women absolutely gutter trash they belong at the bottom of my shoe once i've gone tripling through a cow field and all the cows are on laxatives you know what i mean they are just absolutely covered in shit anyway let me know what you guys think about this these stories are you know she she's worrying mate she, to call her a you know a tiktok influencer is insulting to people like jacob satorius or whoever's TikTok famous these days. I'm a little out of date. Anyway, go watch the documentary on ITV. It's called ITV Doc TikTok Murder Gone Viral. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, imagine that. Crazy, man. Absolutely horrible. Poor guys. Look at the car after there as well. God damn, that's just nasty. Nasty way to go, man. But, man, these women, you just can't. You just can't. You just can't believe it, can you? You just can't believe it. She's actually gone a bit crazy. She's all this, tic this TikTok, you know, money. You know, 140K. Far more than I've got. But come on, like. Jesus, so imagine what it happens when you get to like a million. Imagine what that does to your brain.